On first glance, this question is not for the faint of heart, but it's not too bad. Um, we want to find the limit as x goes to negative 5 of this expression. The first thing we do is substitute an x value of negative 5 into the expression, but unfortunately we get the indeterminate form of 0 over 0. We don't want that, so uh, what we're going to do is try to rationalize the numerator and the denominator. The way to rationalize the numerator is to multiply by the conjugate of the square root of x plus 6 minus 1. And that is the square root of x plus 6 plus 1 as shown in red. But if we introduce that factor to the numerator, we need to introduce it to the denominator as well. But to rationalize the denominator, we need to multiply by 2 plus the square root of x plus 9. If we multiply by a factor of 2 plus the square root of x plus 9 in the denominator, we need to do the same thing in the numerator. Now, I ordered them differently here because, as you may see, the square root of x plus 6 times the square root of x plus 6 is x plus 6. Distributing further will cancel out the middle terms and we will have a minus 1. And we'll be left with this orange factor of 2 plus the square root of x plus 9. In the denominator, the 2 times 2 will be 4. The middle terms will cancel out and what we'll have left is a subtracted term of x plus 9 as well as the red factor, which was brought into the denominator because it was originally brought into the numerator as well. Well, we can simplify x plus 6 minus 1 to be x plus 5, and we can simplify 4 minus quantity x plus 9 to be 4 minus x minus 9, and we keep our other factors, of course. x plus 5 stays x plus 5. 4 minus x minus 9 becomes negative x minus 5. We can factor negative 1 out of that, and we're left with a second factor of x plus 5. That is the offending factor, x plus 5. We can cross it out of the numerator and the denominator, and we're left with 2 plus the square root of x plus 9 over negative 1 times the square root of x plus 6 plus 1. Substituting in a value of x equal to negative 5 now is not a problem. And when we simplify, we get our ultimate answer for the limit of negative 2.